Hey everyone, if your Windows 11 computer is running slow, then you're in luck. In this video, I'll share with you a bunch of tips to boost the performance of your Windows 11 computer. The best part? You can use all of these tips for free without having to spend a dime on new hardware or software. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. The first thing is Storage Sense. You can access Storage Sense by going to the menu and then Settings. If you can't find it in the pinned options, search for the Settings app and open it. Next, navigate to System option and then Storage. Make sure to enable Storage Sense so that Windows can automatically delete unnecessary files from your computer. I always set my Run Storage Sense at every week and deleted files 14 days. I do not delete my downloaded files, I always set it at Never. After enabling Storage Sense, click on Cleanup Recommendations. Make sure to check all options except for Downloads. If you check Downloads, your downloaded files will be deleted as well, so be sure to uncheck it. Once you've made your selections, click on Clean Up Files to clear the files from your Windows 11. This will help your Windows 11 run smoother, especially if you're in the C drive. The next step involves cleaning the Windows and users' temporary files. Press the Windows Command plus R key simultaneously. Type percent %10%, percent, then press OK. Select all the files and hit Delete. Make sure to skip any files that you are unable to delete. Next up, you can free up some memory on your computer by deleting unwanted apps. Simply navigate to the Apps option, then select Installed Apps. Look for apps that you are not using and uninstall them. There are plenty of default apps that you can uninstall as well. By doing this, you will disable their related services and free up system resources for other apps and programs. Feel free to uninstall any apps that you are not using. To improve performance, consider selecting a higher power plan. Click on the Start button and search for Power Plan. Choose the Power Plan option from the list on the left T. Click on this arrow to view all the available plans on your PC. You can see my power plan is set at ultra performance for the maximum fan levels. If you are currently using a balanced or power saver plan, switch to high performance. For an extra boost, you can select ultimate performance, but for now, let's stick with high performance. After selecting your power plan, adjust the settings by clicking on change plan settings and then change advanced power settings. In the new window, scroll down and find processor power management double-click on it. Adjust the minimum and maximum processor state settings to 100%. If not, click the percentage for each and type 100, click on the 5% and change it to 100%. Click Apply to save the changes, and then click OK to exit the window. If you don't have the option for High Performance and Ultimate Performance Power Plan, you can enable them with Command Prompt, go to your Windows icon, type CMD and run it as administrator. I have put the commands in the description below. You can copy and paste it. For the high performance, copy this command and paste it in CMD. For the ultimate performance, copy this and paste it in the command prompt. This is how you can enable high performance and ultra performance power plan using the command line. To enhance performance, you can adjust the visual effect settings by clicking on the start button in your taskbar or pressing the Windows key on your keyboard. Then, Type View Advanced System Settings and select it when it appears. In the Advanced tab, go to the Performance section and click on the circle next to Adjust for Best Performance. Uncheck the box next to Show Thumbnails instead of Icons, if you prefer. Also, make sure to check the box next to Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts if you want to avoid blurry files. Coming up next, Startup programs and apps that launch when you start your computer can slow down its performance. To optimize your boot times and free up resources, follow these steps. Open the settings on the left side. Select Apps from the options. On the right side, click on Startup. Here, you can view all the programs that are enabled or disabled during startup. If there are any programs that you don't need to start up automatically, simply toggle them off. However, be cautious and only disable programs that you are absolutely sure you won't need at startup. 
There are many unnecessary programs running in the background that can slow down your system. To stop them, go to Settings, then Navigate to Apps. Select Installed Apps, and you will see a list of programs. Find the ones you don't want running in the background. Click on the three-dot menu icon on the right. Select Advanced Option. Look for Background Apps Permissions. Click the drop-down menu and choose Never. Repeat these steps for each program you want to stop running in the background. Here's another suggestion. When you restart your PC, Windows 11 automatically restarts the background apps that were running before the restart. However, on older PCs, it might be advantageous for you to disable this feature. To do so, let's navigate to the settings. On the left-hand side, select Accounts. Choose the sign-in options. Scroll all the way down and toggle the switch off for. Automatically save my restartable apps and restart them when I sign back in. This can have a positive impact on your PC's performance. If you're not into PC gaming, you can boost your computer's speed by disabling game mode. Simply open the settings, click on the gaming option in the left pane, and navigate to game mode on the right. Disable it. Sometimes, Windows 11 may not load properly, causing your computer to slow down. Although it's rare, it can happen. The good news is that most of the time, restarting your computer will fix the issue. To restart on Windows 11, simply click on the Start button, then right-click on the Power icon located in the lower right corner, and select Restart. Another helpful step to improve your PC's performance is to update Windows. This can include bug fixes that might address the slow running of your computer. To check for updates, open the Settings menu and select Windows Update. If there's an update available, go ahead and install it. If not, click on Check for Updates, and there might be an update available that can resolve your problems. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, these tips help to improve the performance of your Windows 11 computer. If they did, give this video a thumbs up and share with others, and don't forget to subscribe and also press the bell icon to stay updated on our latest Windows 11 videos and other tech content.